haven't talked about this in a little while, but due to some new developments on this topic, I would like to highlight the unsuccessful overthrow, no, no, humanitarian aid crisis that we were trying to help with because of that really mean dictator that is running Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro. Why haven't we been able to get him out of Miraflores Palace? We're only trying to help. I mean, what? How, how do they not? How does this happen? I mean, over the last two decades, DC has tried to overthrow and help these wonderful Venezuelan people. I mean, not overthrow, not overthrow. Help to get the rightful president in office. Scratch that, okay? I mean, we all know DC cares about helping people. I mean, look at Flint, Michigan. Their water doesn't still have metal and germs and stuff in it. No, they're still good. Well, what about all the tent cities strewn along the streets of LA and Seattle and New York, San Francisco? Those aren't there, right? Because DC cares. That's why, I mean, we go to these countries and help them. I don't know why anybody would be confused and think that we have an ulterior motive. I mean, look at Iran. Not Iran, yet Iraq, Syria, Libya, Chile, Honduras, all countries that we have helped and may have become, well, I mean, Libya does have now slavery, which they didn't have before. They were the richest country in Africa, but hello? America, we're here to save the day. Why don't they believe that? Why, why would they think that we have any ulterior motives? We are there for humanitarian aid only. Unfortunately, our military believes that, as I did as well. But we all know that DC doesn't. They see people as cattle, and they see Money as everything. Money, gold, coltan, all of these things. Maybe that's, I could understand why Venezuela would have some reservations about things about why DC really would want to help. Because all of their neighbors have been helped. And has it, I mean, it hasn't gone completely right. Yeah, maybe it's overrun by cocaine gangs and people are stealing the food to go sell it in Colombia, to sell it back to the people that it rightfully belongs to. But maybe that's just them not taking responsibility for what they have done to themselves, right? DC would never do anything to hurt people, right? I mean, back in January, well, we could probably take it back like two decades, you know, we've been trying to help the people of Venezuela by putting in somebody that we have trained here in America. That way they kind of know what's going on and how things roll. Some may call it a puppet. Some may just call it training, but whatever call it what you want to call it. But we haven't been able to get that type of person in yet. You know, for two decades we've been trying. We tried to overthrow Chavez because he was just as bad of a dictator. I mean, listen to how terrible he is. He made the extremely pov impoverished people, their poverty rate went down 40%. So he made people richer, like gave them jobs. Yeah. And then, this is horrific. They have been building two 
million, I think they're almost to three million homes built with the oil money? Who does that? What? What is wrong with those people? Chavez started that and said, hey, this oil money is under our ground because you are citizens of Venezuela. We're going to help you. And we're going to give you these homes that we built with the oil money that came out of our ground. That is so crazy. I mean, shouldn't that go to the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the CEO of Exxon and Sitgo? It, that shouldn't go to the people. I mean, who does that? That is very, very crazy. So 2.5 million houses they've built already for the poor people? Like, really? You know what else they do with that oil money? They pay for health insurance. Yeah. Citizens' health insurance. Um, hello? Those people should be paying for that themselves. I mean, just because they're getting so much money from the oil that came out of their country's ground and they voted to let it happen like this with a very high percentage rate shouldn't matter. We, meaning DC, should make decisions for them. How can anybody argue that? DC always makes great decisions. I mean, remember that time that they lost 21 trillion dollars and then like the next day there was the biggest terrorist attack in our history? on our grounds. That wasn't a coincidence. I mean, it was a coincidence. <laughs> I'm confused. Stick with me, y'all. So, we, I mean, we tried to help. We trained this amazing person named Juan. Well, actually, we trained two of them. They were both named Juan. The first one didn't really work out because we began to roll out this narrative I mean, it really was going on. These people were all starving in Venezuela. But that one was a little bit too fat, so we had to get rid of him and put in his his stand-in, like his backup guy, which was Juan Guaido. So we put him in because he should be the president, because that's who DC says should be the president. Hello? And in January, they did that. But then, that dictator, Nicolas Maduro, would not leave Miraflores Palace because he said, oh, the people voted for me? I mean, like, how many? 60% of the people? That's nothing. That's no big deal. Like, they're supporting him in the streets? Oh, yeah, they, yeah, they kind of do. They really want him to be the president. That's okay. But we know it's best for them. And we should be able to use military intervention to, te to put our guy in. I mean, why wouldn't we? Send our troops there, have them come back and flag drape coffins into Dover. Because we want to put our trained guy in there. That sounds right. It's no big deal. People don't matter. They matter. They matter. I was confused. I was, I was so confused. Okay, so let's talk about how we keep screwing this up. And when I say we, I really just mean DC because the majority of the American people really don't know what's going on down there. And they're just listening to whatever the talking heads are saying, you know, Fox, CNN, MSNBC, CBS, ABC. And what's funny is they're all on the same page. And you know what I always say, if they're on the same page, you need to look away and there's something else going on. So, how have we failed so miserably? Well, first of all, because of the will of the people, I think they're brainwashed. They really love their president. And not only the president, they love all that oil money that is going to help their education systems and build roads 
they don't have an IRS. They need an IRS. I mean, yeah, they're the only sovereign Christian nation that doesn't have a Rothschild bank. Big deal. It's like, what, they're missing out. Do they not know what they're missing out on? Our, our banking system has done amazing things for us. They give us loans, then charge us crazy amounts of interest, but we love that. And they should want that too. Yeah, that kind of sounds terrible, but no. So we had Juan raise his own hand and consider himself the president of Venezuela in the middle of the street. Yeah. And he had like a thousand people that supported him in a country of 30 million. But then about 3 million civilians decided to join something, I don't know, called a civilian militia to support their country and raise up arms because they are all armed with guns, ammunition. All of those scary things. Three million of them volunteering to support their president and their country to protect it from evil empires like America? We're not evil. Well, no, the people aren't evil, but DC. Maybe. Maybe, maybe so. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm confused about all of this. I don't know. And remember when we tried to send $20 million worth of humanitarian aid over those bridges? But uh, that mean dictator closed down the bridges so, that, so it couldn't get through. I mean, who does that? Oh, wait, what? The bridges, the bridge has never been opened? Oh. The bridge hasn't been open for years. Oh crap. Wait, so the media was lying about that the whole time? Mm, dang. That sucks. And then they... Hold on. They caught their own humanitarian aid on fire? What? What? No. That... Who would do that? Oh, the people that were supporting the U.S. regime change? And then they blamed it on the Venezuelan people that are starving? Wait, the starving people caught the food on fire? This is not really making any sense. Hmm. What? I, I mean, maybe we've all been lied to. I, what is wrong with these people? Wait, are you kidding me? This just out. This just out, from coup leaders to con artists, Juan Guaido's gang exposed for massive humanitarian aid fraud? No, no, he's the guy we chose. He even trained in DC. What, this makes, an explosive new report reveals how Guaido representatives in Colombia embezzled 125,000 meant for humanitarian aid, suckering des deserting soldiers, and blowing the aid money on luxury goods? What? Like lavish champagne? This is crazy. Wait, they were paying these soldiers that were defectors? Yeah, they they promised them like $20,000 if they defected, and they still only got like a handful of them to defect. And then they didn't pay them the money and they kept it themselves. Juan, this is not looking good for you, buddy. What the heck? Constructing an intervention sham show? It was apparent when Branson and... Is that not... What? This is all very, very shocking. Branson? Okay, but what about that blackout they had? I mean, they obviously do not 
even keep their electricity stuff together. They had a blackout for days, the entire country almost. I mean, that's obvious that it has to do with the Maduro government, right? Wait. Wait, wait. Marco Rubio knew about it as soon as it happened? How would he know that? That is crazy. I mean, maybe somebody messaged him. Oh, it was before even the authorities knew? What? I mean, I'm, I'm sure the IDF wasn't down there and cut the power off to the dam. <laughs> they would never do that. They wouldn't do that, right? We wouldn't have people scouting out and doing such a thing and then cyber threats coming directly out of Houston? This, this isn't looking very good. But DC still has very good intentions. It has nothing to do with their reserve oil being the largest in the world or their coal tan or their gold, right? It has everything to do with helping the people. We love helping people. I mean, that's what we do. That's what the military does. That's what the American people think we do. Unfortunately, that's not truly what DC does. DC hatched this crazy story and then continue to fail miserably. A lot of it due to the amazing journalism that people like myself and Abby Martin, Max Blumenthal, they kind of jumped on it a little bit late, but if you haven't known, I've been reporting about this for over a year. And as soon as they would come up with their schemes and scams, we'd report on it as soon as we could. And that has a lot to do with our channels being targeted, but we're still winning. And when I say we, I mean the people, because no, none of us want to see more flag draped coffins coming into Dover over lies, blatant lies, just like almost every other war that we have had, built on blatant lies, just to keep that military industrial complex running like a well-oiled machine. I love my country. I love the people here. I proudly served in the military. And that's the main reason that keeps me reporting about this, these things. Although I've been called an American and a socialist, an evil person. But when you get down to it, the truth is out. This has been another cooked up scheme to get American sons and daughters into a war over lies, greed, and power hungry insanity. So I hope you all understand what I was talking about. And for those who may be new to the whole Venezuela situation, please check out my playlist that I will put at the end of this video. Click on that and see what actually has perspired throughout the time that we've been messing with them. All right, y'all have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed my silliness. America. Bye, y'all.